Welcome back, everybody. I am George Myers. I'm the IT director for the Ross County Board of DD, and I am back with a mobile smart home. It has been a long four years. We've had some ups, we've had some downs, we've had some bumps and bruises, as you can see here, but we are back and ready to roll with some new technology in our mobile smart home. I'd love to show it to you. You ready? All right, let's go. This is a little hard to open sometimes. I think it's locked. Let's see if someone's home. Someone is at the front door. Someone is at the front door. We'll have more videos here for you later. Someone is at the front door. Someone is at the front door. Out here. Have you been in here this whole time? Honestly, I can't remember. The last thing I remember is talking about the internet and the mobile smart home here. Oh man, you've been on duty for a while. Why don't you come out and take a rest and I'll take it from here, okay? Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Get some rest, buddy. Good job. All right, I think we're good now. Come on in. Well, welcome back. Let's get some light on the scene here. Alexa, turn on light. Okay. So it's been four years since we did some uh, videos on the mobile smart home and we wanted to bring everybody up to date on uh, kind of where we are now with the technology. And, you know, we've had some new things added and some things taken away. So we figured that was just the best place to start. All right. Okay, so one of the things we wanted to start with is some things that just look differently visually as you glance around the mobile smart home. One of those things is these tablets. You can see they look a little bit different. What we used to have is... But now, as you can see, we have a much simpler interface. Um, and the main difference that makes is that we no longer have access to the scenes that we demoed in the lights and scenes video from earlier. But as you'll see in a later video, we can do that now with Alexa routines. All right? So another difference that you might notice um, where this security panel used to look like this. Now you can see we've got some additional things that we're going to cover in a separate video. Um, also, the buttons that we referenced in one of our earlier videos that used to look like this. Now, if you look here, you can see those have been removed. We used to also have one in our kitchen here. So those are still things that you can get from a remote support provider. Um, we just don't have them in the mobile smart home anymore. All right, one last thing um, that's kind of visually different. If you were to look up in the uh, corner here in our kitchen at our camera, it used to look like, okay, but now you can see that's a new camera. We don't have the access to this camera feed, but the other new camera that we have that you can't see is our doorbell camera, and that's actually just a ring doorbell camera, and we'll be able to see the camera feed on it with our new Amazon Echo Show. All right, one last thing that's different, although you can't see this, is the fact that our internet service that we talked about in one of our earlier videos can no longer be paid for by Medicaid waiver. So when we need to cover internet services for folks that get remote support, there have to be other ways for that to happen. All right, stay tuned for our next video where we're gonna talk about our new TV and voice remote.